everyone, it's me, the e-bike cowboy. And up ahead, there's MX Electric. Hello. And we're doing a range test because we got, if you saw my Instagram story, we got, MX Electric got a 72 volt bike battery on there. It's from Motoclop. And I got to have his 60 volt shy. So we're doing a comparison between the two different brands to see if they're pretty close in range because they got similar amp hours. Mine, this one's got uh, 51 amp hours and that's got 42, so they're pretty comparable. And just to see kind of range test against the 60 volt and the 72 volt. Yeah, the 42 amp and 72 volt and the 60 volt with the 51 amp, it's, yeah, like Shane said, they're almost identical in amp hours. I'm gonna ride in um, Eco 2 and I've got the BAC 4000 from Motoclops and so, um, you know, I have five levels, but Eco 2, when you're cruising, I want to see how far I can go. And so the only, that's our bikes, like Shane's is all stock other than the battery, and then we have wheels and tires. So we will keep track, and we're going to ride into town and go get some lunch and maybe go to the motorcycle shop. Okay. I hope you guys don't mind. I decided to put on my, uh, my chest mount. Uh... I find it's more comfortable than my helmet one. I, I have, I don't really like the helmet one because it's like right in my face and I have to hang it really low to make it work. So I hope you guys enjoy this style too. So far I'm around 82% so far. Traveling at least 40, maybe 40 miles per hour. I think that's pretty true. I think the speedo's are always off on the Suron and I don't have a GPS display on my phone. I probably should get one. It would be a good idea. I just kind of forget about it. I've been using this battery now for a while and it's, it took me a little while to get used to but now I'm finally getting comfortable with the extra weight of my bike now because of the battery. I like it. Working good. And it'll be pretty good to test out the range for today. Bumpy roll. Yeah. Wow, there's a ton of tractors over there. Wow. I hope, I hope, off to school I don't go. I hope, I hope, I don't wanna go to school. I don't like it, the school. Give me my freedom. Ah, oh, finally, a turn. I thought it was all straight from here. Nope. Where is it? Are you are you going in the road or not, buddy? I can't see nothing far ahead of me now. Okay, according to the display, I've got 73% on the shy. I have 77%. So we've went 10 miles and 10 and a half miles and I've used 23% and what did you say you I got 73 so you've used 27% so I'm using a little less we've been holding it at um, trying to hold it right around 30 sometimes I'm down at 29 sometimes up to 32 or 33 depending we're pushing a headwind so it's been real you know windy but on the way back, we'll have a tailwind, so that'll help us, so. I don't want to go in the butt. I don't want to go in the butt. I don't want to go in the butt. Super I can't see. I can't see anything. It's a little scary driving with cars around. 
I'm not, I can't go fast enough and they just like speed demons. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna take this way back when we head back. Longest red light ever. Wow. A few moments later. Man, this is so weird. I don't do this much traffic riding. Okay, I am so far down to... Oh, shadow. I have around 69% on my reader and it's not changing. Oh, maybe we should get some gas. Oh, wait, that's right. We're electric. This is the furthest I've ever traveled on my bike. That is pretty cool. Oh, I missed the turn. Yeah, I'm really impressed with these batteries. I still got 64% left on my battery. This is, like, really cool. Now let's see if they can do the ultimate test. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. I wish. That'd be so cool. You know the lyric, uh, lyric cycles, you know them? Yeah. Well, they make, they're making their bike, uh, uh, what is it? It's the lyric voodoo, I think it's called. That has the capability of using an electric car station. So you could charge it from like an Electrify America and stuff. That's good. Well, let's head over to Habit Burger and... You got it. I am down still to 66%. Man, what a fun day this has been. And it's still going. Makes a whole lot, a whole difference when you've got big batteries in your Surons to do all this kind of stuff. I could never have done even half of what I'm doing if I still was running stock. I don't think I could ever, after today, I could ever go back to using a stock battery. I think the next upgrade I kind of want to do now uh, is probably change my controller. I feel a little bit too slow for doing all this kind of stuff. It would be kind of nice just to be a little bit faster. Be able to go with the flow. Motorcycle parking? Yeah, wanna come in or you wanna Whoa. stay with the bike? I am so far behind. Oh man, I can smell the meat being charred as we speak right now. Going to the Habit Burger Grill. What percentage do you have? 63? I've got 65. It says 65 on mine. How many miles have we gone? 16.65. 16.65. But we were doing almost 30, pretty much 30 all the way around coming here and then pushing that headwind. So sometimes we're doing 32s and once in a while we were doing 29. So. I think it's working out pretty good so far. I mean, the, this is a lot of travel and we still got, well, I, I got 65 and you in the 60s, 60%? 63. 63, so we still got a good amount of power left. Yeah, because you figure that's, um, 
we've only used a third of our battery to go 16 miles, almost 17. Well, let's go get some lunch. Okay, so now we're finally going to switch and I'm going to try the Moto Clops battery. I can definitely feel the extra power. It feels really good. I can see why. I can see the appeal of the 72 volt Surons now. Let's go to the Eco 2. We're not speeding. We're not speeding. I still. I'm on, on the. On the motocrops, I've got 43% on the battery, and I'm still going 41 miles per hour. How is it with the 6 default? With the shy? Yeah, this thing's snappy. It runs good. Like it's got a good jump. This is the motocrops one's working pretty good. I've got 45, and I'm still going 40 miles per hour. <laughs> Wow. How fast are we going? Uh, oh, I wasn't looking. I think I, right, I was, uh, last I said it was like 30 to 40. I was just going max out. Um. Okay, so we've got on the shy, we've got, can you see it? We've got 38% on the shy. And on the motoclops, we have 38 as well. So this the shy has a little bit a little bit more watt hours altogether but they're still relatively the same yeah and how many miles have we gone 25 and a half miles 25 and a half miles and probably 23 of that or 23 and a half has been you know running 30 miles an hour or faster what do you think of this bike yeah i liked it it worked the battery works good i'm impressed it's equal it is i'll say it, it's equal to the shy yeah it, you know and they don't what's really nice about these batteries is they don't drop off i can't tell any difference riding yours from when i first got on it to all the way back down going i was just going wide open as fast as it'd go and it still doesn't seem like you're having any battery sag um where with a stock one, once you get past 50%, you can start feeling it. And then you get down to 30%, and then it's just like an anchor went out. You can cover a lot of ground with these batteries. Yeah. Um, all the way there, fighting the wind, about the lowest we ever got was 29 miles an hour to about 34 miles an hour is the range, depending the gusts of the wind. So that's, you know, that's cruising right along. You could go, f if you wanted to do 40, 45, I don't see why you wouldn't even, you'd probably be able to do 20, a little over 20 miles an hour at like a top speed like that. The design and everything, it's a little shorter, so you don't have to, you don't have to run the, the, uh, the arms that lift the front of it. All you do is you just have the longer bracket. So you just take off your, the two bolts that hold on your, the clip and put this longer one on. That's all you change. It takes a minute and then that's it so you don't have to you know pull the pins and put the risers so the battery is a little lower even though you know compared to the moto clops it has five amp hours more or not five amp hours but four amps more and so that's pretty good because when i looked at getting the chai that's a 38 amp and it's the same size it's the same casing as the 60 volt 51 amp they use the same casing so it's a metal casing i paid the extra hundred dollars and got the metal casing and then they wrap it with the, like a plastic wrap and with the motoclops this is a stainless steel casing and instead of using so what do you call it the cylindrical batteries it uses the pouches and so they stack and they're really nice so that's how you get more amp you know so for the price 
you're getting four amps more in a battery that's you know a little smaller not quite as tall as the chai and chai has been the gold standard we all know that um, but the pouch technology and they're fully potted it's I think kind of the coming the new kind of battery that's kind of on its way so I yeah I really like it if you want one of these batteries for motoclops just give them a call they have all kinds of parts they have the bac 4000 the bac 8000 so you can get that and they'll help you set it up they you know from even when this was a 60 volt they you know just help me through it because i don't know zip about you know setting these and um yeah bobby's you know spent a half hour or more just helping me set this 72 volt up Nice as can be, good people, good prices. They These batteries were in stock, so I think they might still be. And it just gives you another avenue. And um, yeah, give Motoclops a call, good people. Well, that was our little range test. We're gonna call it here. We've done, we're just goofing off a little bit now. So if you enjoyed this video, why not consider giving it a thumbs up? If you guys have been enjoying my content so far, why don't you just consider to subscribe? If you have any questions or whatever, comment down below. And now, I think it is time that I will see you guys next time, my amigos.